Yeah, so I want to do a quick breathing video because this is another thing I notice my students struggle with. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be using the Peter Lucas graph because that's how I was taught to do it. But you can use long note scales, anything. OK, so remember when we're breathing, we have to use our tummy muscles to support our air. It's going to help us get the best sound and help us be in control of what's going on. OK, so how are we going to start this and anything you choose to do, you're going to pick whatever your best note is and B, N, A or a G for now in the lower register just because they're usually people's stronger ones and you're going to play it until you completely run out of air. Now it's going to sound absolutely disgusting towards the end, that's the hope because it shows you that you've completely emptied your lungs, okay? Then you're going to hold those tummy muscles nice and tight and then you're going to release and it hopefully sound like a gasp because your body's going to do its survival and um, strategy and then you're going to take in a proper breath and then you're going to keep that tummy nice and tight and you're going to see how long you can do okay now an easy way to do this is to just play the same long note okay you can do it in scales scales are very important uh, or i've got this exercise that i'm going to be using okay which is tonic up to the dominant up to the submedian and then a very low subdominant okay but it'll make more sense when we get there so um, I'm going to start with just a G because it's neither here nor there. It's neither too high or too low. So I'm just going to play one for as long as I can. So you can hear that after I did my proper big breath and I made sure I really took a really good breath in, I could go for a lot longer, okay? You can also practice these long notes with different dynamics and I would advise practicing it on different notes, okay? So I'm now just gonna play through this exercise so you can see what I meant, okay? So you've got your first long note just to empty your ears properly so you can take a really good breath in, okay? And then here I've got, what would that be? One, two, three, four, five, six bars of four, which is maths 24. So we're aiming for 24 seconds if we can. Don't worry if you don't. Once you run out of the air, you just hold your tummy nice and tight, then release it to the gasp and move on to the next note, okay? So this would be easier if I was standing up as well, but let's try it then. So um, I'm gonna play through and hopefully you're here with different dynamics. I can usually trick out a bit more air, okay? <laughs>
Now you'll notice as I've gone through that, I was finding it easier to play these longer notes, okay? And it's because I'm utilizing my air properly, okay? Now you can do this on scales, you could practice one of the easy ones like G or F or C if you wish, and just get used to it. Um, I usually get my younger students to um, time themselves because it's like a competition, you can see if you can beat yourself. Um, you can also do this even without your flute okay especially if you're sporty because i have some sporty children uh, some sporty students as well okay so you can think i'm used to controlling my breath here so i don't collapse with all this running or whatever you're doing same idea it's just utilizing all your tummy really expanding uh, some of my students call it having a fat tummy um and it works because you're filling up all the air and then you're controlling it with your tummy muscles to help it all come back in okay so that's just a really quick uh video on breathing exercises like i say you can do it on scales you can do your own long notes you could just focus on the lower registers you can hear you use a bit more air when you're higher so you run out a bit quicker but it's just always trying to utilize the space you've got okay thanks bye now